Mithana Namgad and Goddesses. Today we're going to be speaking about how to gain, maintain, and lose weight. It's actually a very simple Ayurvedic principle when it comes to when you're consuming food. When you drink water before a meal, it is to lose weight. When you drink water in between a meal, it's for you to sustain and maintain your weight, your current weight. And when you consume water after a meal, that is when it's to gain weight. Now, it can be seen in a very simple way, apart from the science that can be very complex. But I will be explaining about the four chambers of the stomach in a further video. In this video, we're going to be speaking about the difference, the different ways of consuming water and the importance of consuming water. As you guys know, and it's very obvious, 99% of our body is made of water. It's not what scientists say about 70 something percent, or at least when I was in school, it was like 75% or something like that. It was like 75%. Or it was like 70, or it was like 75%. Let's say you're a person who gets really thirsty when it comes to eating. Then the best advice I have for you is take sips, take small sips in between your meals. If you do have some type of issue when it comes to dehydration, etc. But for the majority of you, when you are consuming water, you should not consume water by chugging it. Forcing the water into your body rapidly is not good for the body. Because a lot of that water does not get the chance to be absorbed in the body. You ever drank a lot, a lot of water and then within an hour you have to go pee? Yeah. That water is actually not being absorbed by the body. It's just being secreted in your urine within the next hour or two. So learning how to consciously drink more water rather than just drinking more water. You see, it's one thing to stay hydrated, but it's another to consciously stay hydrated. Another way of consuming water is when you're sitting. While you are sitting, whether it's in Sukhasana or in half Padmasana, when you consume water, even if you're a person who can neither sit on the floor nor cross your legs, then even sitting on a chair, why would you relax your body when consuming water? Why would you relax your body when consuming water? Well, it's actually very simple. When you're standing or when you're physically doing something, your muscles are contract contracted. Your muscles are contracted. It is doing something. It is tense. It is activated at that point. So when you consume water when you're standing, the other half of your body does not receive that water because the muscles are tense. It's working. It's Imagine your, you being your legs alone without the rest of the upper body. And you're always bearing that weight. You're not going to be able to receive anything if you're not relaxed. Right. So the rest of your body has to be receptive to the water that you're consuming. So in order for you to make, so in order for you to utilize the water that you consume on a day-to-day -day basis, then you should learn how to relax, sit, and drink your water. It doesn't take that much to sit down just for a few seconds, just for you to consume your water that you need to continue your day. If you guys have not yet, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and on Facebook. And as always, be blissful.